Now, I'm still on this issue because it really vexes me. And <laughs> dear KT Hammond, this one is for you. Yes. Oh, I know we'll make it slide. It's about time we let some of these grown ups, old men, the elderly, understand that we are in a system where um, the generations where they or the generation where they come now, they are being raised to challenge the status quo. And I know they are shocked, they are surprised. They say, ah, why are these uh, these kids, the youth, they are questioning our decisions, they are they are challenging us left, right, center. I know they are surprised, but I want him to understand that this is never going to stop. Once again, that statement he made is unfortunate. And I expect him to come out and apologize to the youth. But once again, you know, you know, he's the oh or your penyinti. No, 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 no. The Ghanaian society now, it has been built in such a way that even if the elderly do something wrong, cry where you know say no, 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 I do have my idea, it's wrong. No, no, they will never apologize. That why if they house one appearance, you then do something where they be wrong. You know how they rectify that anomaly food. Your food is in the kitchen, go and take it. Then they'll go and buy you something. Pa said they will apologize, they forget. And what I'm trying to say is it is about time these people understand, say, bro, the, the generation where they come, people, millennials, Gen Z's, they are going to question some of these the decisions that they make. Because in the long run, the decision you they make, you know, it affects some of us. You sit in parliament, the decisions you they make, it affect us. So we have every right to challenge you people, ask questions, thought-provoking questions. If you feel like that is that is disrespectful, then I don't know what we can do again. And for you to even come out and say, say, uh, because the president was booed, uh, uh, like we don't have sense, uh, we, there's nothing in our head, we have coconut head and blah, 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 blah. First of all, the parliamentarians, have they not done worse things than that? Akufa do they go parliament house, go read by uh, no the state of the nation address. Do they not heckle him? Was it not recently that a sitting member of parliament who happens to be a ranking member or something? Some he said he he's on a committee in parliament. Was it not recently that I mean when they were trying to vote, they were trying to elect um the speaker of parliament. Did the member of parliament not go out there and snatch a ballot box? You people make it look like like you people do worse. You do worse. We know the city where the people they fight, they throw your hands in parliament. Was that honorable? Did the youth chastise you people? Now, pa, 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 pa away is where you draw the line. We will not be cowed into submission. I am telling that, bro, Uncle Tiano, my Mecca channel. Anyway, I will sing him, I'll let him know. You see that era where we they do no 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 no. It is about time. I know. I said they are shocked. They are surprised because society has raised us to be intimidated. 
Oh, men cast up any new salmon, you say, and you see settings, the opinion, no, I didn't know, you know, who do you want like, but you can't say it because, yes, no. This time around, we will we will match you people boot for boot. We will we, we will call you people out. Man, let them understand. Let them understand. Recently, the Minister of Education came out. I, I, I said it in the other video. He came out to say, sir, the educational system, it raised people to be. Um, I don't know, like you know, they raise people where they ask critical questions. They like they know the question, they know the query, they know they ask questions. Everything be yes or master. And I said, oh, okay, you are right. But once again, the Ghanaian society they hate. What if they see say you they challenge them? No, you are disrespectful. That is how they will tag you, and that is why. And because we too will be fearless and we will be cowards. We just go sit there. Then we go, we go day in one of one shells like that. Oh, me permit one say more. Don't go. Bro, f that we are going to step on their necks. I know they care if you chop 85 years in parliament. We are the Indian cinema, we will call you out. The decisions you do, I put it, they do know the people they affect. We will call them out, challenge them. Uh, don't come and hide behind I am an elder no, so that no we will remove it here the back to chain it is about time bro because if we don't do this bro it will get to a point where bro, they will do a lot of things with uh, bro no booing the president is is not part of our culture but corruption be part of our culture right mm. Corruption be part of on a culture. Hospitals without beds be part of on a culture, right? Schools under trees be part of on a culture, right? Unemployment be part of on a culture, right? Let me tell you something. For the past week, people have not been able to buy prepaid, electricity prepaid. Do you know how frustrated people are? And when people want to vent, now you are coming to say, say, eh, and I, eh, the thing we, eh, Go now, they sit, they look, you know. If, uh, if you be kidding where you stand up, uh, you know, go see. See, please. People are frustrated on the streets. For, for a week, oh, no light. It's not like they don't have money to buy the light, too. They have the money to buy the light, but the system is not working. Make the person not be frustrated because you are 75 year old man with gray hair. See, bro, I may say, you see the way, I they love the way right now they youth, then they talk, talk them my mind. We know go come, no, don't come and hide behind. I am old, I am this and this. No, 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 no. It will not work. We will question you. If you don't understand, you can go and hug a transformer. After all, we will vote for you. That's why I said in statement be quite unfortunate because the youth they in constituency. So are you saying say the youth when they day your constituency then be empty headed? And I don't blame him because eventually, if we then will take, we do the identity jobs. We will go, go do the campaign for them. We will go, 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 we will go queue for about one hour and vote for them. We will go wake up at Humanachi Dawn, then go vote for them. So, of course, if he is saying, say, we'll be empty headed, it is true. But I am entreating every youth out there to take a cue from this. This is the time. This is the time to ask the questions. This is the time to challenge them. They can't do anything to you. We are just asking questions. Because it is our future. I'm going to tell you what the parliament has to do. It is you and I want a future. We want our lives. Where then they take play the chaskele for the parliament house there. And if something happens and or what the president like, bro, he is the father of the land. If people are frustrated, they have every right. It is their constitutional right to protest. It is. Don't sit there and no. Nah, it is not going to happen. And he said, if you are angry that they, uh, uh, they, they boo the president, uh, I don't think the president is even bothered. Because he knows. 
in a democratic dispensation, these things are normal. Sometimes the, the, the thing that your mind talks to if something happened for house and you go ask the, uh, the grown ups, the Emirates, and sometimes the Emirates have the thought process need not distort. I know we said they try to disrespect the grown up, but see, this is why we there where we are now. They don't want to give the youth the chance. I know say the youth sometimes to which we we turn out, but they don't because imagine they have a problem with beard talking about you have grown beard uh, you have grown beard and blah 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 what has growing beard got to do with anything beard did no pump for the beard cream the best slim crime and attention i don't know why the Aghanian, uh, uh elders uh, they see beard no they they root no no the bar it's like if they see say beard there your body they would who they lucifer mean what what be, something god can you give me what make i do what make I do? Beard, beard be issue. Then the best, then they use your beard to judge you. Then they use your beard to profile you. Not a game, bro. It is not going to happen. We will ask the questions. We will challenge you people. On just what? I feel like I'm insulting you. I'm just asking questions. I'm just protesting for my rights. Why are my people not having work, uh, jobs to do? If you don't understand this and you want to hide behind that, me your penny, me your penny now. And M fat, M fat, they should understand. The wave is coming. Everybody, the Gen Z is quite the move. Gen Z is no. No, no, can every ask them questions. Or the see now the seer. Let them know. Because we, we've gone through stages where then we don't ask questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. No, 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 no. no. That's why KT, Mr. KT and one statement it vexed me. They call the youth empty headed people. Because of what? People are frustrated and you booed at the president. Once again, you can't do this in where Amsterdam. Jesus! I don't want to hear it.